Hey everyone, it's Ava. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are brand new here. I am so excited to be back filming. You don't even know. I'm back on my grind, back filming content for you guys. So today I thought I would do a little chit chat, get ready with me because I haven't talked to you guys in literally forever. So why not catch up a little bit? I did a huge Sephora haul for the past VIB sale haul that they had. And I just thought I would, you know, use some new products, do a full face using new products. I have a giant box here right next to me. I will be doing a haul, just waiting for some more things to come. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And let's get right on to this video. Okay, don't mind what I look like without the makeup on. But I'm going to be filming. The camera's going to be here. I'm going to be looking here in my mirror. So the first product that we're going in with is our Say Glow Drops. I have been wanting to try these for forever and finally got my hands on them. I got the mini one to see if I would like it, which I'm sure I will. Um, so we're going to mix that in with my moisturizer. I think that's what you do. I don't really know. Okay, so basically to like chit chat with you guys and catch you guys up. So, well, I'm going to put this on first because before I do my makeup, I always put on a lip balm to just hydrate my lips. And this one is literally the best one. Linked to my Amazon storefront. So, just to kind of, like, update you guys and, like, talk. So, I haven't posted a video, I think it's been since, like, 2022. Because I have been non-stop, like, on the go, working, school, grad school, like, getting myself together. So, basically, back in 22, I, May of 22, I graduated college with a bachelor's degree in business marketing. And I wasn't able to attend my graduation because I got COVID. So that's really great for me. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to attend my graduation because I got COVID. So that was May of 22. And then I decided to go and get my master's. So I had went to grad school. So I'll get into that once I like start my foundation. Okay, so... Basically, I decided to get my master's because I didn't really necessarily know exactly what I wanted to do now that I was graduated from college. And I feel like in the business world, the more degrees you have, the better. And it's okay if you don't have like a college degree or like your master's. Um, everyone's different. Just me personally, I knew I wanted to definitely get my bachelor's and honestly get my master's too. So... When I graduated, I decided that I was going to become a GA at my school, which is a graduate assistant. And so I worked in the library for two years. I'm on my last semester now, so my second year. This is my last one, and then I will be graduating with an MBA, um, I, which is um, Master's of Business Administration. And so, mass, but to say it simply, it's just a master's in business. And I did my concentration in management because my undergrad, I did marketing. So I was like, I kind of want to have a business and, um, I'm sorry, management and marketing under my belt. Because I personally have an interest in both. So to kind of go on to like what I want to do when I like finish graduating, when I finish grad school. So pretty much... I was never really born knowing exactly what I wanted to do in my career. I wasn't born saying, oh, I want to be a doctor or, oh, I want to be a teacher. I never really knew and I kind of wanted to explore that in high school and college and figure out what I wanted to do. So basically, I now know I want something in business. And so I ideally would love to have my own business one day, whether it's in fashion or or jewelry or like I love the idea of like party playing and even like I'm really good at organizing and I would love to organize like celebrities closets and just like stuff like that so although I'm not 100% sure exactly where my path's gonna lead like once I graduate from grad school don't mind my phone it's literally going crazy I'm gonna put on do not disturb um, but yeah, so that's like the plan right now. I'm so let me get into like what I'm doing right now. So currently right now I am, like I said, the GA in my school's library. So I sit at the front desk. I do stuff like that. And I really like that job because I get to see like all my friends come in and I get to like help the students out. So it's like, it's a win-win. Like it's not a bad job to have at all. Like I like it. Like everyone I work with, super nice, super chill. Like they're all just amazing people. 
and so i do that like four days a week and also on sunday so that takes up most of my time because i'm there most of my week honestly and so then i also work this past semester i interned at a marketing and pr firm on staten island and absolutely loved it love my boss she's literally amazing and i just knew like i loved being there it was just like a really good experience i learned so much like i said my boss is amazing taught me so many things and it just really helped jumpstart my career so Fast forward, she offered me a position part-time because I can't be full-time because of I'm still in school. Plus, I'm, like I said, still taking classes. So, I couldn't really be full-time, which I was bummed about. But I went um, part-time. And so, yeah, so I did that. And so, I've been working there. My internship ended in December and I started part-time in January. And so I've been there ever since. It's now April. And yeah, I just, like I said, loved it. So that also takes up a lot of my time because I pretty much work every day there, whether it's remote or in person. But I, you know, put in as much hours as I can because, like I said, I love it. Also work at a boutique on Staten Island. And I do their social media, but I also work the desk so if you're on set now and come shop with me sanctuary boutique i love it there i've literally been shopping there with my mom since like 2017 and we just can't get enough i also really hope like this lighting is like good because i can't see i'm like literally blind so i can't see what i'm filming in front of me so that's just like great love that for me but i'm hoping that the lighting is working out good because like i said i can't see so, I still live at home because I get these questions a lot. I am 23 years old. I'll be 24 in July. I do still live at home. I have no intentions of moving out anytime soon. Um, just because I'm just not at that point in my life yet. And, like, I love it at home. Like, I'm a huge family girl. Like, big family. Always stuff going on. So, I feel like, why am I going to rush it? Like, I don't have anywhere to go right now and i still kind of want to be at home and just you know figure some things out save the money obviously and all of that i'm obsessed with this blush are we kidding it's the Too faced like candy cloud oh my god i'm literally obsessed with this this is such a beautiful color pink like wow also, I'll probably do soon like an in-depth makeup tutorial because this is kind of just like me talking fast, going through the products um, that I got new. So I'm not really kind of talking and saying which product is what because I'm trying to like, you know, get um, like talk to you guys because it's literally been a minute. So I'm trying to think if there's really anything else that I need to catch you guys up on. I'm still... So, although I haven't posted on YouTube in a while, I've been super consistent on my TikTok. I love TikTok. I've been trying to get some videos to go viral. And it's been working out a little bit. You know, I do have really good content out there. So, I'm, you know, I've been working on that. Okay, also, there's a new hack that I've literally been doing. And it's basically, so I put the setting powder all over my face. And then I literally take, I put the loose setting powder all over my face. Then I go in with my pressed powder from Charlotte Tilbury, which is literally godsend. But it broke. My big one broke. So I'm currently using the small one. Uh, and I just go in over it. And my skin looks so airbrushed and so natural. People say like it could look cakey, but I personally don't think so. Like, to me, it looks so good. Do you love how my doorbell's ringing? Like, oh, so annoying. Okay, we're going to go in with the Tarte Fake Awake Eye Pencil for the eyelids of my, not the eyelids, but the, my waterline. And I use my powder puff to hold my eye down because I don't want to ruin my makeup. So, you know, I never want to, like, touch it. That's, like, a really sharp pencil. Holy crap. We're going to set our face with the one size setting spray i got the try one because 
Couldn't get my hands on the big one, of course. Everyone and their mother gets things when they drop, so. Okay, so that is the full face of makeup using all my new makeup that I got from Sephora. I didn't do, like, the full, full glam. I just did, like, you know, what I would wear naturally every day. So, like I said, I am so excited to be back on YouTube and cannot wait to keep filming content for you guys. So, make sure to subscribe down below and also follow my Instagram so you don't miss any uploads and you stay in touch with all the content that I put out. So, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.